Bonsoir. So, أنا اسمي يارا شمعون أنا psychiatrist ورح نحكي اليوم شوي عن ال ADHD ADHD because it's a very trendy topic uh, I think a lot of you especially the youth um... I'm hyperactive I'm hyperactive <laughs> 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 Okay <laughs> So today we will tackle the subject of ADHD. Is it really ADHD when we have the lack of concentration? Because that's the main symptom. This is what, pe what uh, young people uh, come complaining about. So is it really ADHD or could it be something else? And in all cases, whether it is or it is not, what are the, the, the strategies that can help in overcoming this lack of productivity, lack of concentration? How can we focus better and be uh, more productive? And we're going to also tackle the subject of procrastination, because I know that a lot of people have uh, difficulty in, in uh, uh, this area, procrastinating. So uh, we're going to try to cover a little bit uh, uh, everything related to uh, productivity, procrastination, and ADHD. I'm going to start with some myths and facts, especially for the young people here. Um, I'm going to put some statements, and if you can tell me if this is a myth or a fact in your opinion. So ADHD is a lack of uh, willpower. People with ADHD focus well on things that interest them, so they could focus on everything if they really wanted to. يعني قصة الإرادة. It's a myth. It's a myth because ADHD is actually a problem in the chemical circuits in the brain. Okay, so this is where we start by saying it's a chemical problem. It's, it's a disorder. ADHD stands for attention deficit with hyperactivity disorder. Or ADD, attention deficit disorder. This is without hyperactivity. We're going to go into details later on. People with ADHD can never pay attention. <laughs> it's a myth. So they are able to concentrate on the activities that they enjoy. It's not because they are able to concentrate, yani they don't have ADHD. Okay? So we can concentrate when it's something that we enjoy, but we cannot concentrate when it's a very repetitive or very boring. Unless you have been diagnosed with ADHD or ADD as a child, you can't have it as an adult. It's a myth. So it's a myth. It's also a very uh, debatable uh, subject, something called adult ADHD. Adult onset ADHD, is it really an adult onset? Or was it there since childhood and it was undiagnosed? So that's the big question mark. Everybody has the symptoms of ADHD, and anyone with adequate intelligence can overcome these dif difficulties. It's a myth, because ADHD has nothing to do with the levels of intelligence. Okay, and it's true that uh, although everyone sometimes has some symptoms, of ADHD, but only those with chronic impairment. يعني لازم يكون في تداعيات impairment at school, بالشغل. So we need to have repercussions to talk about the disorder. At the end of the day, it's a disorder. We're talking about it's a marad, okay? But we can have symptoms of ADHD. Everyone can have symptoms. Someone can have can't have ADHD and also suffer from depression, anxiety, or other psychiatric problems. It's a myth because actually they are six times more likely to develop depression, anxiety, or other problems. They are also more prone to substance use, so drugs, alcohol, okay? Uh, because ADHD can be very overwhelming, uh, I cannot keep up, okay? And, and we know that anxiety is very comorbid with, comorbid, anxiety and uh, depression, and uh, ADHD. Medication is the only way to uh, solve ADHD. That's for youth. And we have a lot of people who have ADHD, but they don't. It's a myth. It's a myth. It's a myth. It's 
a myth because it's not the only way. So هيدي ال مثل بالفحوصات بس حطوا لكم trick question هيدي trick. It's not the only way. It's a way to solve uh, symptoms of ADHD. أكيد it can help. Medications are very helpful. رح نحكي عنه شوي. But it's not a cure. It helps with the symptoms. بخفف ال symptoms. Of course, there are a lot of self-help strategies that we need to resort to. Holy, we're going to talk about them in detail. They will help us to overcome uh, the symptoms of ADHD. Having ADHD means I'm lazy or unintelligent, so I won't be able to help myself. It's a myth. So it has nothing to do uh, with laziness, with being unmotivated or uh, unintelligent. We talked about it first. But a lot of the times, they find ways to compensate. يعني حدا عنده symptoms of ADHD, especially children that went unnoticed. وبعدين مع العمر وصلوا على الجامعة and this is where they started to find a lot of difficulties. لأنه الجامعة أصعب من المدرسة. But they were never diagnosed with ADHD. It's because they had ways to cope. Either they were very smart or they had a lot of structure at home. So parents who were very Structured, لحقينون, الدرس كان مضبوط, كان في good family dynamics. So هولي كلهم ما بيخلوا الأشخاص اللي عندهم ADHD to إنه يسقطوا أو okay. So this compensates. A mental health professional can solve all my ADHD problems. بس نقول mental health professional, it could be a psychiatrist, psychologist, a counselor. It's a myth. Because hatetun heke bold, because you are the person who can manage the symptoms. A mental health professional can help you. The medication can help you, but you are the only one, and it takes a lot of effort, a lot of work. This is why most youth, we go the easy way out. And خلاص, I'm gonna take the medication, and the medication will help me. ADHD symptoms will decrease with age and with coping strategies. So that's a fact because we have a lot of strategies that we can put in place. Holy, I try to, to, to put a lot of practical tools for you to live with uh, something tangible that you can use in your daily life. A few like, information about uh, ADHD. So it's a neurodevelopmental disorder, which means it's a, a brain development problem in the brain uh, parts of uh, in the in the brain pathways. Mainly, it's the prefrontal lobe, okay, and the dopamine pathways in the brain. Even the MRIs in the studies, the MRIs show that we, there, there are structural abnormalities between uh, children who have ADHD and children who do not. And if these structures in the brain become azgar, become different pathways of dopamine, they are different. So it's something very neurobiological. Around eight to nine percent of, of children uh, suffer from uh, ADHD, but we know that the symptoms can continue throughout life. They decrease. They decrease because of many factors. Uh, people uh, can uh, now uh, uh, cope with it better. They learn what are the strategies that work best um, because maybe they uh, outgrow it. Hyperactivity component decreases with age. The inattention um, component. حطيت هيدا هيك ال three circles because there are three main components بال ADHD the uh, hyperactivity the inattention and the impulsivity impulsivity is a very important uh, component impulsivity التسرع okay التسرع مش ضروري بالتصرفات التسرع قد بي بالحكي uh, بقطشوا حدا هو عم بيحكي بي. okay so these are the three components and we have di we have different types there is the combined type so combined, it combines all three types. There's the inattentive type and the hyperactivity type. And the children, children, it's more of the hyperactivity type, so ADHD. And girls, it's more the ADD, so less the hyperactivity. Maybe this is where the the, the uh, idea of the children become shaitan actor than boys. So it's more the hyperactivity component in, in uh, boys. These are the criteria that we use. The DSM is uh, the, our 
book in, in psychiatry that has all the disorders all the disorders that we treat, because you know in psychiatry we don't have like in other medical specialties a blood test or a MRI or something to diagnose the disorder. We have a list of criteria for every disorder, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, and either we meet the criteria or we don't. So this is our DSM. In the DSM we have all of these criteria. If we have at least five symptoms for at least uh, six months, and these symptoms should be there before the age of 12. And this is why when we have an adult who comes in for ADHD, we go back to childhood. Do these symptoms were present? Uh, were these symptoms present before the age of 12? This is very important. Um, and if uh, we do have these symptoms in more than two settings, like if you are present in setting one, not in the other setting, for example, at home but not uh, at work, uh, in, in school but not at home, Okay, so we need them to be present in at least two settings with repercussions. We need an impairment. To talk about the disorder, there should be an impairment. And if he uh, consequences on the grades, uh, even social life, the impulsivity can be a problem, the more in, in, in uh, children. Okay, so these are the criteria we abide uh, by to diagnose someone with uh, ADHD. What are the daily uh, challenges that someone can uh, face? For example, uh, paying close attention to details, making careless uh, mistakes, sustaining attention for a long period of time. So everything related to, to, to attention or inattention in this uh, case. Uh, forgetting things, uh, losing things, being easily distracted, uh, daydreaming, uh, not being able to listen even when someone is speaking directly to them. So this was related to the inattention component, and this is related more to the hyperactivity component. With age, it decreases the hyperactivity. Maybe at univer in university, we don't see this. So this being restless all the time, هيدا الحوسة. Uh, talking ex excessively, especially in <laughs> especially in social situations. Okay, when you find yourself talking too much, too much, especially in social situations. Again, we need um, like it's it's. Uh, we need many criteria. In mission, as Anna, I talk excessively. I have ADHD, or if uh, uh, I'm highest, ma be'ed al-ad mahali, I have ADHD. Again, this is why I put the criteria here, okay? Because it's a list of symptoms that should be present before the age of 12, and that should have repercussions. Tadayit. Uh, answering questions before uh, someone finishes the sentence or حتى بالأسئلة بال يعني written ما بنقرأ جواب للآخر ما بنقرأ سؤال للآخر ودغري من جواب interrupting others أنا شايفينهم busy عم بحكوا تلفون أو مشغولين we interrupt them this is more also the impulsivity uh, component difficulty waiting in turn ننتظر بالصف أو ننتظر دورنا Okay, so these are the, the challenges uh, that uh, we usually see uh, practically. I mean, when we want to assess the uh, severity of this disorder, uh, where is this being translated in every, every day's life? And this is why we have this list, which is basically the criteria I just talked about. This is a self-report scale that everyone can do. This is why I uh, included it here. It's called the ADHD, uh, Adult ADHD Self-Report Scale. If you can it online, very easy. Uh, you have to know that it's a screening, not a diagnostic tool. Yeah, is a lot of items positive. Again, it's not a diagnostic tool. It means that you need to see a mental health professional to receive a formal diagnosis. But it's, it's a screening and it, it gives an idea on the severity of the symptoms. Okay, the dark... Uh, uh, the, the dark haida, uh, le uh, carré, it means uh, no, the, the criteria is positive. And part A 
is very predictive of ADHD. So if we have a lot of criteria positive in part A, it means that most probably we have ADHD. Okay, so if it's not ADHD, we talked about how it is ADHD, but if it's not ADHD, a lot of times it's not. Uh, I was telling you earlier, I have a lot of youth who come uh, into my clinic telling me I have ADHD, uh, and then upon assessment, it turns out it's something else. Do you have any idea what could it be? ADHD. <laughs> Anxiety. Anxiety is the most common disorder. One, because there are a lot of overlapping symptoms. Lack of concentration, it's both anxiety and ADHD. Procrastination, it's both. So a lot of symptoms are overlapping, that's one. And two, they usually come together. And هذا هو ADHD كمان عنده anxiety. That these symptoms, the lack of concentration, uh, uh, the, the procrastination, is it due to anxiety or is it due to ADHD? Probably both. But how much is it because of anxiety and how much is it because of, of uh, ADHD? It's important because the treatment is different. If it's mainly anxiety, we would treat differently than if it's mainly ADHD. Okay, so this, this is why, again, uh, internet and the self-report scales and what we read and what we know is not enough. A proper assessment is important. But it could also be other things like depression, like substance use, a chronic cannabis use, for example, impacts memory and concentration, uh, or other non-psychiatric uh, uh, problems, for example, uh, low vitamin B12, uh, problem in the thyroid, the ghidde. So we also screen uh, for these uh, conditions. Pharmacological treatment, when there is an indication to treat, okay, I do not always start a treatment because sometimes there is no indication for it, but if there is an indication, we have two types, the stimulant and the non-stimulant. When we say stimulant, it's basically based on, uh, it's meth uh, like the methamphetamines, the drugs, the common uh, known drug, it's amphetamine. Call, uh, the one that we have in Lebanon is called uh, methylphenidate, uh, Ritalin or Concerta, okay, that's the common name. Uh, Ritalin is, is the short-acting version, Concerta is the long-acting. Yani Ritalin is in 4 hours, the Concerta is in 12 hours. They work on the dopamine, so they increase dopamine. So increased concentration and decreased hyperactivity. They have an immediate action. It's like drinking uh, 10 cups of coffee at the same time. Uh, this is why they have some side effects. Reshfed at Alipsaria, it can increase anxiety. And imagine having 10 cups of coffee uh, altogether. But they also need a special prescription system. Yeah, and we not to just go to the pharmacy and get Ritalin. Why? Because there is the risk of abuse. It's, it's like drugs, like المخدرات. more or less. I'm going So they basically like the المخدرات. واصلا تحصلوا عليهم بتروحوا مع الورقه الخضراء على دائره المخدرات بوزاره الصحه تيطلع لكم بيرميشن من بعد فينا نقدر نحصل عليه للدواء اتس فيري ريجيوليتد وليش هيك تما تو تو افويد ميس يوز اوكي لانه سم يوث ابيوز ات اذا سامعين برا بامريكا بالادرال هو الادرال بيسكلي ا لوت اوف بيبل ابيوز ادرال سو اتس اتس ذا سيم ميديكيشن uh, it has a lot of side effects, the palpitations, the anxiety, decreased uh, appetite. In children, it can, um, it can even induce weight loss. But again, sometimes uh, the, the, the benefits uh, are more important than the risks. The risks are minimal. And we think that they would benefit from a treatment. I kid we prefer to give a treatment, to monitor well, 
we monitor uh, uh, the weight, uh, the, the, the side effects, and usually it's very successful. Yeah, if you have a lot of kids, you can get a lot of kids, The other uh, uh, category, it's the non-stimulant. It's called atomoxetine, or uh, Stratera is the, the brand name. Uh, they work differently than the stimulants, so not on the dopamine uh, receptors, but more on the serotonin and norepinephrine pathways, also in the prefrontal uh, cortex. But they have a delayed action, a long-term action. يعني مش أخذنا حبي ركزنا دغري يعني two weeks, three weeks لنبلش نشوف التحسن. And it's more of a شوي مثل ما بيشتغل الانتيدبرسنس. Okay, they have similar uh, mode of action. They also have some side effects such as headaches, tiredness, uh, nausea, vomiting, etc. Procrastination. So, I was while I was doing the the research on on uh, this topic. Uh, I came across more than 50, 70 theories on why people procrastinate. I tried to group them into the most important, which are these. So one, there's the fear of failure. So everyone knows what procrastination is, okay? Uh, so there's the fear of failure. I don't want to hold kilon unconscious, mish consciously, I mean, ulla halna, no. So unconsciously. Um, I don't want to fail, so I prefer not to start, so I don't fail. So there's. Or we take Adderall. Or we take Adderall. <laughs> Perfectionism. Someone who has this bias of, uh, or what we call irrational belief of perfectionism. I want everything to be perfect, which is not true. In reality, there is nothing perfect. Some people have this perfectionism uh, mentality. I will not do it because I know, uh, uh, because I want to do it perfectly. The lack of motivation, especially when it's something that's not interesting or boring, uh, homework that I'm not really interested about. Emotional regulation, and this is more and more, there are a lot of studies currently about emotional regulation and procrastination. Uh, a lot of studies now say that procrastination is a mood, mood problem, an emotion problem, emotional problem. If we're not able to understand what we are feeling, we're anxious, we're bored, we're sad. So these negative emotions, let's say, will lead to procrastination. I delay. I'm not in a, in a mental state to uh, start this task. And decision making, some people struggle with decision making. I put this here because I think it's very important to be aware, and that's the first step into breaking this cycle of procrastination, to be aware what is behind uh, me procrastinating. It could be these, it could be a lot of other theories also. If you're not able to do this exercise alone or through readings uh, online, you can always resort to a counselor, uh, to a therapist, to understand what, what are the, the, the unconscious uh, motives behind uh, your behavior. So now the productivity strategies. Uh, basically, what I found uh, most, uh, like, uh, the most important are these five different categories. How to get organized, how to manage your time. Um, I found some things online about money and bills, uh, because a lot of people struggle with paying their taxes, paperwork, etc. Staying focused at work or uh, while studying and managing stress and boosting moods. We go back to the theory of, of uh, mood uh, or emotional dysregulation. How to get organized and control clutter, clutter al al chaos, يعني, whether uh, in our personal space, uh, where we're studying, in our professional place. It's important to create space, يعني, to create space to have a space where everything is neat. So this space when, when we can feel, where we can feel uh, uh, 
safe and uh, where it's clear for us to be able to work. Uh, there are a lot of tips online on how to create like a closet. Hey, they're like all the resources that we can build here. But if it's everywhere stuff we can put, create a closet. I'm not going to go into details. There are a lot of things online, but I really summarize them in two points. Uh, the use of a calendar app, Google Calendar or whatever that works uh, for you or day planner. So this helps in organizing uh, organization using lists, having lists, to do lists. It could be on the phone. And it's very important to deal with it right away. You know, there's a ta any task that takes less than two minutes, replying to a text, uh, doing this phone call, any task that needs less than two minutes, as soon as you, you, you are aware of this task and you know you have to do it, you do it right away. Taming the paperwork, you can set up your, there's no, nothing that works for everyone, Mafishi universal. Every person should find what works best for them. Using a filing system, uh, dealing with mail uh, on a daily basis, uh, mail, text, uh, messages, etc. Um, a lot of people think that going paperless is better than having uh, papers. Time management. It's very important to keep track of time because people who have ADHD have a, a, a distorted perception of time and they cannot keep, keep track of time. Uh, using timers, I'll give you a, a website about timers and how you can incorporate them while you're studying, for example, or working. And it's important to give yourself time, more time than you think you need. Yeah, I want to give you a half hour paper, and one hour. I know most probably it's going to take more than what you think you need. Plan to be early and set reminders. You're not going to do them overnight. Okay, uh, you can start by incorporating what uh, you think is uh, most like, enjoyable or most uh, that speaks the most to you. You incorporate another tip, a third, a fourth, and over the span of, of a few months, you're going to find yourself more organized, uh, happier, more focused. Okay, it's not something that happens overnight. Prioritize. Pr to prioritize. So I cannot deal with everything now. This is why it's important, Kamen Hatayt Badshoi, like a practical tool on how to prioritize. What are the things that I should uh, do right away because they are urgent and what are the things that I can keep for later? Because a lot of the times when we have this to-do list, it's 10 items, okay, ma baarif bishu bide bellish, and I get overwhelmed, so I end up doing nothing. So we decide what's more important uh, and we take one thing uh, at a time. Learning to say no. People who have ADHD are impulsive and because of their impulsivity, they say yes to everything. Can you help me with whatever? Yes. Although we don't have the time, we don't have the energy, we already have a ton of homework to do. So we say yes and we end up even more overwhelmed. And because we have trouble organizing and, and uh, uh, with procrastination, so the pile keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so it's important to learn to say no. One uh, easy trick is, is to tell them, let me think about it. Let me think about it. It gives you time. yes, no. And when you think about it, you can actually think if, yes, you can do this, if it fits into your schedule or if it doesn't. So to manage money and bills, controlling your budget, uh, setting up a simple money management, uh, um, it's very important if you hold a calendar like Google Calendar to put reminders, مثلا, every uh, uh, January 1st of every year, I have to pay my taxes. I'm giving an example. Okay, so once you have this cleared, plus having this calendar, with the to-do list uh, decreases what we call the mental load when you uh, uh, discharge the load from your mind to the paper or, or the calendar. This decreases a lot of, of your load. It's written and 
a few times uh, a day, you go back to the list and you make sure. So the fact that you are writing them down helps a lot. How to stay focused at work or during studying? You have to set aside daily uh, time for organization. And uh, before starting, I have 15 minutes to organize my desk, to look at my daily planner. So this is also important. You can use colors, whatever works for you. Again, there's no one uh, tip that works for everyone universally. Every, every person finds their own system. Some people can, can find that papers are better than uh, like a, a, a agenda is better than Google Calendar, for example. I don't know. Uh, ending distractions. And I think one of the most important factors why a lot of youth uh, come in with I ideas that they have ADHD is the smartphone. Having our phones all the time with us, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. This is really, really bad for concentration. Even people who don't have ADHD struggle uh, by staying concentrated with this device all the time ringing. Uh, we need to be connected all the time. So ending distractions is very, very important. If you have an idea while you're uh, uh, studying, for example, if you have an idea for something company. you want to do, start a company. Start a company. This happens a lot with people, with people who have ADHD. They are studying history, showing they want to open a start. Exactly. They come up with a lot of big ideas. This is why I put safe big ideas for later. Write them down on a paper. You can write them down on a paper, put it aside. Let me finish what I have to do and I'll come back to this st starting my company. You can stretch your attention span by get it in writing, for example, uh, by moving around. Mm -hmm. Some people uh, think that if feel that if they are uh, uh, walking while studying or while working on something, they can stay focused for, for more than if they are sitting. Some people like to put music. So whatever works for you, you have to experiment with different things and find what works best for you. Managing stress, exercising, spending time outdoors. It's very underrated, spending time in nature especially for, for people who have ADHD, because it's very stimulating seeing the colors, the, the, the sky, the uh, nature is very stimulating and, and at the same time very soothing. We can also try a lot of re relaxation techniques. I'm not gonna go into details. Getting plenty of sleep, this is also an underrated uh, 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 thing because a lot of people think that they need X amount of time to sleep, whereas they need more than that. There are apps now that you can use to know how much, uh, how much sleep you need. And you can also experiment. Try sleeping one hour more than you usually sleep. And you can see yourself how more focused you are the second day, how uh, uh, your energy levels are better. And you have to eat right. This goes for everything related to mental health. So, uh, how to prioritize, that's one, one tip. Uh, you can list all the things that need to be done, regardless on, of how uh, uh, urgent it is. And then you put a mark, high, medium, uh, low, high uh, ur urgency or uh, priority, medium and, and low. And then you break them down into three groups high, medium, low, and into these, uh, three, uh, each group, you number them, one, two, three, four. This way you don't have this mental task of you have them into written. When you put everything into writing, it makes things much easier. When you have them into writing, you just have to follow the order. I have this task number one, I cross it off. Task number two. So this 15 minutes I told you about at the beginning of your day or before your study session should be, uh, um, uh, should be just about organization. I have two hours now, three hours. How am I going to organize these three hours? Or or day or week, etc. 
This uh, tool, I found it very interesting. It's called the unscheduled. So uh, the unscheduled is in a uh, weekly schedule. So Monday, Tuesday, uh, until Sunday with the hours, a timetable, uh, you write all the uh, scheduled activity that you have class, uh, gym, anything that is part of your routine into half hour, uh, half hour blocks. Then you make sure you added everything that you need to add as a ankundahra, as a, you need to, uh, I don't know, watch TV for one hour before you sleep. You also put them in, into the schedule. And once everything is there, you have the blank spaces, which are the empty spaces that you still have uh, to be working towards your goal. So when you record the activities, you don't put the goal. Let's say the goal is uh, uh, study for my uh, midterm exams. So you don't put this into the, the schedule. And then as you go and as you start uh, so your week and you study, retrospectively, you put the half hour that you studied in. Let's say uh, Thursday at night, uh, I studied from uh, one uh, till four. I record them that I studied from one till four. So once you have all the, by the end of the week, once uh, uh, you, you're, you're done with, with the week, you can go back and look at how much time you spend towards the goal, whatever it is, studying, uh, working, writing a paper, whatever your goal is that you are not able to achieve. You can put them in another color, this way it stands out. It's very rewarding to see that, oh, actually I was able to study. And you can replicate this the second uh, week by adding more half hour uh, uh, blocks. So this way, uh, when you feel that you can, make, you can make it, you can do it actually, you were able to do it retrospectively. And the brain, when, they, when the brain thinks I have to do something, and this something is very overwhelming, we go back to the procrastination, it's very hard. Whereas if you do it retrospectively, so oh, so I did it. This is a much better technique. It's all about tricking the brain. It's all about tricking the brain into thinking they're doing a great job. That's an example of, uh, so the timetable. Another tool, I don't know if you're familiar with the Pomodoro technique. So the po uh, said, oh, well, she, uh, uh, You set a timer, usually 25, because you can set it for 25 or 30 or more. Or less. Or less, yes. And uh, during this uh, time, you're gonna do the task that you want to do, and you can write it down. And then you have a short break after it, and then another, Exactly. Yeah. Does it work? No, because and I'm like an all or nothing type of person. Oh, okay. So I study six hours. Okay. Oh, I don't study. Did you use rewards? Uh, no. Okay. Mahana, when I use rewards, I get I dwell on the rewards. Okay, okay, hello, I'm going to rewards coming. So uh, that's a website, I got a screenshot from the website, pomofocus.io. Uh, so basically you can customize the, the, um, the time uh, intervals. Usually it's 25 minutes of study session and five minute breaks. When you're done uh, and you uh, write the task, uh, and you actually write the task, the many tasks that you have to do, and the timer sets off. When you have five minutes, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's a five minute break. When you're done with the four sessions, for uh, 30 minutes, uh, you can have a longer break, a longer break of 30 minutes. This usually is very motivating, especially if you add to it the rewards. rewards. So basically that was it regarding the practical uh, strategies. I'm gonna talk more specifically about uh, procrastination. So in procrastination, it's important to use accountability tools, yani to hold ourselves accountable. And if you have it works, not with everybody. And I, when I suggest to, uh, uh, to my patients the, 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 the body system, uh, studying with someone, some of them uh, actually find it helpful, some don't, because 
they are more distracted by studying with someone. Uh, you can announce publicly what you want to do. This way you are held accountable. So people would come back, did you do it? I have to do it I have to do it because I, I told everyone that I'm gonna do it this is a template I found online I don't know how helpful it could be to, to put it in writing and to sign it uh, so accountability can help so self rewards uh, it's a reward okay uh, the, the small rewards can be used during the small breaks and a bigger reward can be used by the end of the day مثلاً, uh, let's say حكينا اصحابي رايحين يتعشوا عشية ما راح اروح اتعشى معهم الا اذا خلصت اذا خلصت كل كل uh, whatever what i have to do i will go out with them and it actually works but you have to believe it okay uh, the reward should be tangible, so it's something that you can feel, you know, something that uh, you can associate positive emotions to, something personal, okay, not related to someone else, and something appropriate. It might be not a trip to, to Bali if, if you made it to class, or a bonbon is a midterm paper. Okay, so using self rewards, again, this will not happen overnight. You need to experiment. Relaxation. Uh, I'm not going to go into details on how to do the breathing techniques. There are a lot of things online, uh, on YouTube. There are applications. These are applications I personally uh, tried. My favorite is Insight Timer. It, it's a very, very good application for guided meditation, whether it's for sleep, for concentration. Okay, so relaxation is also very important. And I think I, I went through all of these uh, throughout the presentation that you need to experiment and see what's right for you. It's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, you have to be patient. You have to celebrate the small steps. Oh, we're done. So these are my take home messages. I tried to summarize them into a few points. So first, lack of concentration and procrastination do not automatically mean ADHD. We need to be assessed by a mental health professional to know whether it's ADHD, it's anxiety, it's something else. ADHD medications are helpful, but they are not always the answer. And sometimes they're not the answer alone, most of the time actually, we also need self-help strategies. Productivity strategies that we just went through, like uh, time management, developing structure, uh, how to prioritize, can help enhance focus and, and achieve uh, the desired outcomes. Stress management, relaxation, practicing self-compassion, not being too hard on ourselves. We're procrastinating, it's coming from somewhere. We can ask for help, we can go to counseling, see a therapist, seek additional help. It's highly encouraged. Thank you. We're gonna take some questions, yes. So I have a question. You mentioned that the, uh, the medication, few side effects. Yes. So, fishy uh, medication to control the side effects, is a fee do you recommend it to children or not? Uh, so it depends on the side effects. Uh, no, we usually do not give another medication to control the side effects. So it depends on what are the side effects and how severe they are. Uh, most of the time, uh, we just need to decrease the dose and sometimes we have to change the medication. Okay? Thank you. Something related to medications. As a person I take a medication, I believe that I can take it because I'm a Paralympian. So uh, yes. So can medication, it's it's uh, something positive and negative. But at the time, when you are masking something, and when you are down or you feel that you are down, or 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 you are
ذا سايكولوجيست تعطي ذا رايت واي كيف الواحد يفكر وكيف نحن تو مانج مانج ذا تايم اند اند اور برين وقد ما فينا ما نستعمل ميديكيشن لانه uh, اذا نحن ما ساعدنا حالنا قد ما استعملنا ميديكيشن رح نضلنا مثل ما نحن اي اجري ثانك يو Do you think there is an overdiagnosis of ADHD Halia? Yes, there is. There is, uh, whether among children or even among adults. Um, I, I don't think you were here at the beginning. I was talking about the trend and how everyone thinks now they have ADHD. It's a well shaitan or mabirakiz or it's ADHD. But there is also underdiagnosis. So it's very important to find the right balance. and to do this proper assessment, not to fall into the trap of over-diagnosing and under-diagnosing and to leave uh, someone untreated. Of course, if it's not clinical, we cannot talk about ADHD. It's a disorder. It's a brain disorder. It's, it's a, a dysfunction in the, in the chemicals of, of the brain. ما بعرف إذا كنتوا هون قبل مع دكتور نجا عن الانكزايتي عن الدبريشن سيم ثينجز كلنا فينا نحس حالنا انكشوس كلنا فينا نحس حالنا ساد which is very normal but it does not mean that we have the disorder مرض الاكتئاب مرض ال- 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 القلق هول امراض بدهم بدهم علاج it's very different from the normal at the end of the day we're human beings and we have negative emotions and positive emotions ما فينا نكون فلات some days we're going to be sad some days we're رح نقدر نركز. Some days uh, we're going to be happy. So this is all normal until we have uh, an impairment, repercussions. So there are tadaiyat on the dress, on the job, social life, the personal life, on our food, on our diet, on our sleep, on our sleep. So when we have negative uh, consequences on our life, then this is where we need to seek help and probably start the treatment. Yes. Uh, انا كان بدي اقول انه ما لازم كثير نتمسك كمان بالدايجنوسس اوف اي دي اتش دي خصوصا هلا uh, لانه كثير يعني وذ سوشيال ميديا اند وذ ايفري ثينج ا لوت اوف بيبل ار هافينج بور اتنشن ا لوت اوف امبلس كنترول ايشوز سو كمان ا لوت اوف ذا تايمز اتس ريلي ان ايموشنال ايشو حتى انكزايتي ديبريشن دي كود بي ريليتد انه شخص منه كثير ان تاتش وذ رياليتي هيز اول اوفر ذا بليس سو هول كمان ا لوت اوف ايموشنال سكيلز كان هيلب وذ ذات از ويل يعني True, 100% true, especially the anxiety part. Uh, because there are these overlapping symptoms between both of them, anxiety, it's lack of concentration, procrastination, uh, not being able to fall asleep at, la- at night, overthinking. So basically, the racing thoughts, basically it, it, um, it, it looks a lot like ADHD. Yes. Is there a main uh, difference between ADHD and anxiety? These are two very different disorders. So the symptoms are the same, more or less, but they are symptoms that are different. And uh, biologically, it's very different. I mean, I'm talking about cholesterol. يمكن قريبين لبعض خاصهم بانه خاصهم بالاكل بانه في قصص على القلب على الكلاوي بيشبهوا بعض بس بالنهايه مرضين ما خاصهم ببعض نفس الشيء اي دي اتش دي اند انزايتي ذي هاف كومن سيمتومز بس ذي ار تو ديفرنت ديس اوردرز مثلا الاي دي اتش دي بنعرف انه اتس من ما يخلق الشخص يعني في ان ذا برين باث ويز ان ذا برين سيركتس ذير سمثينج ريليتد تو ديفلوبمنت بينما anxiety it's not related to this it's also the chemicals but it's a different place different pathways the genetic component is different and the treatment sorry and the treatment is very different o- opposite treatment uh, uh, يعني, uh, the one of the treatments for ADHD the stimulant اول واحد حكيت عنه ريتالين وكونسيرتا one of their side effect is that it increases anxiety بيزيد الانكزايتي سو سمون هو هاز انكزايتي ما نعمل له دايجنوسس مضبوط او قطعنا من حد الانكزايتي بلا ما تو اسسيت بروبرلي واعطيناه ريتالين panic attacks, severe anxiety. So this is why it's so important to assess لأنه two different uh, medications. 
ما بعرف اذا انه حوصل فكره 100% مثل ما كنت بدي اقول بس انت عم تقولي الاي دي اتش دي بتخلق انه سمون از بورن وذ ات يعني قبل ذا ايج اوف 12 انه لازم يتشخص هيك شيء مش لازم يتشخص بيكونوا موجودين العوارض وكثير اوقات ما بيتشخص اوكي طب اذا سمون نوز مش نوز انه عم بيحس انه عنده هيك بس اهله مثلا ما اخذوه عند حدا وما تشخص مش هو بيصير لحاله جريبي انه بينما اذا تشخص على عمر صغير بيصير دائما بعقله يي انا عندي ايدي ما فيي اعمل هيك انه ما بعرف اذا فهمت شو قصدي يعني تو يوز ات از ان اكسكيوز ايه اكسكيوز يعني ايه بس اذا مثلا تشخصتي نو no. بتصيري تقولي انه لا انا هيك يعني ما بعرف فيها يعني تو يوز ات از ان اكسكيوز انه انا انه ما علي انا هيك لانه عندي ايدي انا ما بركز لانه عندي ايدي قصدي انا انه بروف انه هي شي هاز اي دي اتش دي سو بتصير تستخدمها بكذا تاسك عم تعمل اذا ما كان فهمت سايكاينجست او انه عم تحضر ايه انه اذا ما اخذوه في ات يونج ايج فيه مثلا يحط انه يي انا ليش هيك لا ما لازم يكون هيك بصير يتغير على كبر بس اذا تشخص من عمر 12 سنه اولى وبصير انه دائما يفكر انه انا عندي اي دي اتش دي يعني ما في يعمل هيك انه ايه ك excuse the harm of uh, not diagnosing and not treating is higher than انه نتركه هو يجرب to cope لحاله بس انا ب... انا بحس انه اكثريه اللي عندهم ما لهم مشخصين عم نحكي عن السيفير كيسز yes. ما عم نحكي عن المايلد سمبل كيسز السيفير كيسز بين انه نتركه يتخبط لحاله ويسقط سنين و... ويجرب هو تو اوفر كم الون بس هو بح... انه بيتعلم من اغلاطه يعني بيصير يعرف لحاله هي منا قصه اغلاط يعني مثل كانه عم تقولي لحدا معه كانسر يلا شد حالك وجرب اتعلم قصدي مثلا عم تقولي اذا سقط صف هو اوكي بس ليه بدنا نخليه يسقط ايه ما هيك قصدي بيلحقوا اهله <تصفيق> ايه بس اهله انه ذير اوير مفروض انه اذا ما اخذوه ما بعرف انه انا بحس بيصير يستعملها كاكسكيوز انه ات داز نوت هابن انا عندي اي دي اتش دي ما هو اذا دايجنوست يعني تريتد يعني ما رح يسقط <تصفيق> بس مثل ما عم تقول انه فيها تتاخذ كنيجاتيف انا كنت عم باخذها كبوزيتيف لانه فيها كثير بوزيتيف سايدز مثل انه انا ات يونج ايج بلشت سبور سو ال ADHD ساعدتني انه تكون عندي باور اكثر تكون اكثر انرجيتك وفضي كل ال فضي كل الانرجي اللي عندي بهود ثلاث ساعات اربع ساعات اللي عم اتمرنوا بعدين وي نو انه ات هاز لونج تيرم يعني اذا اف ات اوف كورس بس اف ات سيفير كيس اوف اي دي اتش دي اند ات واز ليفت ان تريتد في بعدين ما يقدر يوصل على الجامعه سبستنس ابيوز يعني دراجز الكهول يعني وي نو ذات ذا ريسك اوف نوت تريتينج اي دي اتش دي ات ا يونج ايج از ماتش هاير ذان انه نتركه هو يجرب تو كوب وذ ات الون الميديسن قلت انه في هو دراج فحيلا حدا يكون ادكتد عليه صح؟ فيو حدا يكون ادكتد عليه اذا صار في مس يوز اوكي شو الدفرنس بين الدراج اللي هو بالميديسن والنون دراج اللي نحن بنعرفه اللي هو الناتشرال دراج يعني بين يعني ما هو اتس كايند اوف دراج بس بالميديسن شو الدفرنس بين اللي بالميديسن والناتشرال وان اللي هو مش بالميديسن ما في ناتشرال اللي هو النون از هاش ان يعني اتس ا ناتشرال ثينج اتس نوت ا ناتشرال ثينج وما انه منيح ولا بدنا نفتح ديفيت في ساعه عن ال عن ال لا بس معلش جاست ا كويستشن نو بالعكس بالعكس ثانك يو فور اسكينج ذا كويستشن هيدي مسكونسبشن اباوت هاش هاش داز نوت هاف بينيفيتس هاش از فيري هارمفل هاش از توكسيك فور ذا برين بالعكس يعني مع الوقت ات ديكريزز كونسنتريشن ات كان انديوس ديبرشن ات كان انديوس انكزايتي سو ات از از باد از اني اذر دراجز والدراج اللي بالميديسن ما بيعمل هيك ما اتس كنترولد ما هي عم نعطيها ذس از واي في هيدي البريسكريبت اذا عم تاخذي كل يوم حبه <تصفيق> It's about the dose هي بتصير ادكتيف لما الشخص ياخذ خمسه سته عشرة عشرين حبه يعني عم بيتعطيها صارت للحبه سو ذير از تو افويد ذا ريسك تو افويد ذا ريسك اوف ابيوزنج في هيدا السيستم انه مجبوره تروحي على وزاره الصحه تاخذي بريسكريبشن تو افويد انه نوصل لمحل ثانك يو اوكي يس It's not normal, and there's something behind it. What is it? That fear of failure, of perfection. Yes. So. Uh, but I'm a high-functioning procrastinator, and 
I get everything done on time. But, but at the last minute. Exactly the last minute. It's not good for me. No, it's not. <laughs> you can either do it alone by putting in place a lot of the self-help strategies we discussed, or you can see a therapist. Yeah. I know, I know, I work better under stress. <laughs> This is because you uh, teach yourself to work better under stress. It's a, it's a conditioning. You work conditioned to work better under stress.